right. Hallelujah. Welcome, everyone, to the God in the Midst radio broadcast. This is the Sunday School Lesson Edition, and I am your Sunday School teacher for this morning, Pastor Mark McCoy of New Harvest E Church in Harvest, Alabama. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is a day we've never seen before and a day we'll never see again. And as always, we believe it is a day to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for being who you are. Because of who you are, Lord, we give you praise. Because of who you are, Lord, we give you all of the glory. We thank you this day, little Heavenly Father, as we go into prayer. We thank you this day, dear Heavenly Father, for letting us see this wonderful and beautiful day. We thank you for all of your blessings, dear Heavenly Father. And we just ask you to just spend a little time with us today. And as your word says, you are what two or three are gathered in your name, that you are in the midst. So be in the midst of us this day, dear Heavenly Father, as we teach your Sunday school lesson, as we 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 uh, discuss your Sunday school lesson, and, and just bless us right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We plead the blood over this technology of Facebook and and blog talk radio on the get them uh, uh, uh uh, um, uh, radio, Lord, we just thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for all of your blessings. We plead your blood, dear Lord, over everyone who's listening now to, to this Sunday school lesson and those who are going to be listening to it at a later time, Lord. We plead the blood over their lives, over their families, dear Heavenly Father, over their communities, Lord, over their states and their countries, dear Heavenly Father, over their cities. We plead the blood over all of their personal finances and their, their f personal family matters, Lord. We plead the blood right now in the name of Jesus over over everything in their lives, their jobs, their schools, their, 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 whatever's going on in their lives, Lord. We plead your blood that you might protect them, that you might keep them, that you might provide for them, the Heavenly Father. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now, Lord, that, that whatever's going on in their lives, that they, they realize that this is not the this is not the final conclusion of their lives, that, that there's more that you have in store for them because cause, cause, cause the, the, the best is yet to come, dear Lord. So, Lord, we thank you. And we praise you, and we ask you now, Lord, that 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 you anoint afresh, that 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 I might teach your word the way you want it to be taught. Get me out of the way, and you get in the way. I lift you up, dear Lord Jesus. Help me to decrease, then you increase. And then, Lord, touch those that are listening, that they not may not be just hearers of your word, but doers of your word. Bless us all, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Welcome again, everyone, to the Get em God in the Midst Sunday School lesson. And again, I am Pastor Mark McCoy, and um, I will be teaching the lesson this morning. Our lesson this morning comes from Acts, Acts, the book of Acts, uh, chapter 13, uh, starting at verse 1, down to verse 12, Acts chapter 13, starting at verse 1, all the way down to verse um, 12. Amen, amen. So we're going to start reading our lesson, and I'm reading from a New King James Version of the Bible, and it reads like this. Now in the church that was at Antioch, there was a certain prophet, well, there were certain prophets and teachers Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian, who had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Spirit said, Now separate to me Barnabas and Saul, for they for the work to which I have called them. Then, having fasted and prayed and laid hands on them, they sent them away. Verse 4. So being sent out by the Holy Spirit, 
they went down to Silencia, where and from there they they caught they sailed to Cyprus. And when they had arrived in Salamis, they, they, they preached the word of God in the synagogue of the Jews. They also had, they also had John as their assistant. Now, when they had gone through the islands to, to Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew whose name was Bar-Jesus, who was with the proconsul, uh, 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 Sagius Paulus, an intelligent man. This man called for Barnabas and Saul and, and sought to hear the word of God. But Elamus, the sorcerer, for his name is translated that. That's Bar-Jesus. Bar with, withhold, withstood them, seeking to turn the proconsul away from the faith. Then Paul, who, who I mean, then Saul, who was called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, Look intently at him and said, Oh, fool, full of all deceit and fraud, you son of the devil, you enemy of all righteousness, you will not cease perverting the straight way of the Lord. And now, indeed, the hand of the Lord is upon you and you shall be blind, not seeing the sun for a time. And immediately a dark mist fell on him and he went around seeking someone to lead him by the hand. Then the proconsul believed and when he saw that what had happened had, had been done being astonished at the teachings of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. That was Acts chapter, chapter 13, verses 1 through 12. The title of today's blessing is, is we're going to be dealing with the faith to understand or the faith to, to discern. The faith to understand or the faith to discern. The memory verse for this lesson is, is, is verse 12. Verse 12, it says, Then the proconsul believed when he saw what had been done, being astonished at the teaching of the law. Oh, hallelujah. Being astonished at the teaching of of the law. Oh yes. God God has a way, hallelujah, of getting his word out and 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 the teaching of his word has power. It has power. The teaching and the preaching of God's word has power to save those who are willing to hear it by faith and understand and and, and, and discern that it truly is the Lord. Our key concept for today is we must have faith, faith to understand God's will. You know, I like to give messages to the children. I like to break it down to that level just in case we do have some children listening and then there, there are those who are young in the faith and they need to understand it from this standpoint. So these are my keys for kids, if you will. We, we should always pray for God to lead and guide us. And we're going to see that in our lesson. And then number two, prayer will help us to understand God's will. Oh, yes, it will. It will help us. And then number three, God's spirit will help us 
do what God wants. Yes, when we, we know his will, we ought to do what he wants us to do. Yeah, that, that's, that's one of the blessings of life is knowing God's will and then acting upon God's will. Oh, hallelujah. Then for our, our, to our lesson aims, we're going we're gonna to go deep. We're going to go deep to it. And the lesson facts that we're going to do is to recall the events from the beginning of Paul's first missionary journey. And then the biblical principles that we're going to be dealing with is to understand the Holy Spirit's guidance to discern the will of God. And then the daily application is for us to pray for the Holy Spirit's in empowerment for us to be a bold witness in every walk of our lives. So to break this scripture down, we're going to break it down uh, into three parts. Called by the Holy Spirit, sent by the Holy Spirit, and saved by the Holy Spirit. Let me give you those again. We're going to talk about called by the Holy Spirit. We're going to talk about sent by the Holy Spirit. And we're going to talk about saved by the Holy Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. This is a wonderful, wonderful lesson. Now, for the lesson background, chapter 12 of, of I mean, chapter 13 of Acts is a transition point in the book of Acts. Chap chapter chapters 1 through 12 deal with mostly around and centered around Peter and, and, and the church where, where Peter was the head of the church and all that the Holy Spirit was doing through Peter and, 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 and through the church. You, you, you remember when Peter uh, on the day of Pentecost got out there and preached and, and, and 3,000 souls were saved and, and, and it continued on to grow. So it was centered mainly on what the acts that that Peter was doing. Now 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 verse the chapter 13 and for the rest of Acts now switches his focus to Paul. And, and Paul Paul was was even in the earlier part he was called Saul at that point. But and, and, and he was a persecutor of the church, the people of the way. But now he's in he's part of the way. Oh, hallelujah. He's a child of God. And, and the Bible focuses in on his ministry. And this is his first missionary journey. Now, also in this difference between uh, chapter uh, 1 to chapter 12 and then chapter 13 on, that chapter 1 through 12 was mainly focused on those who were Jews. Whereas chapter 13 and on focuses mostly on those who are Gentiles and Greeks and, and non-Jewish people. Oh, hallelujah. And so that, that, that's, that's what its main focus is. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. So, so we, we're going to be looking at this. So let's, let's begin. That's the background of what's going on. Now, uh, 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 churches are being established. And, and, and Paul and gave his life to Christ. He then hooked up with this fellow named Barnabas, which means encourager. And they are now at, at the church called Antioch. So let's listen to our text, verses, verses 1 through 3. And this is that, where they're going to receive their calling, the calling by the Holy Spirit. And, 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 and see now, well... Just, I'm going to say this. I'll, I'll wait to say it after I read this, uh, the, the scripture. And this time, I think I want to read it from uh, a uh, new, new Living Translation. I think that's where I want to read it from, a New Living Translation. I, 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 I want to see how it reads in the New Living Translation of the Bible. Amen. So verse, verse 1 and to 3 in chapter 13 of Acts from the New Living Translation, among the prophets and teachers of the church at Antioch of Syria, uh, Syria were Barnabas, Simon, called the black man, okay, uh, uh, Lucius from Cyrene, uh, Manius, the, 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 the childhood companion of King Herod, uh, uh, Antipas, and Saul. One day, as these men were worshiping 
the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, appoint Barnabas and Saul for the special work to which I have called them. So after more fasting and praying, the men laid their hands on them and sent them on their way. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here it is. At Antioch, we had a church in the beginning of the gospel that included a man named Barnabas, who was the encourager included a man named Simeon that we, we know is, they, they call him Niger. Uh, that means he was a black man. And we had uh, uh, Lucius from Cyrene. And, and, and then we had uh, 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 um, uh, Manius and then Saul. The, the, this, this was a church of, of, of people and the leaders of that church were, 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 were not all of the same culture. They were not all of the same race and all of the same background. This was a, a church that we would call a multicultural church today. Oh, hallelujah. And they all came together. And they, when they came together, it says one day all of these men were worshiping the Lord and fasting. See, see, now the King James says they were ministering. And, and, but, but we know when you minister to the Lord, you have to worship him. That's, that's the myth. You got to give him glory and you got to give him honor and you got to give him praise. You got to, got to speak his word back to him and, and let him know that you believe what, what his word says. And, and so, so a part of your ministry, everybody's called to worship the Lord. And worship him in spirit and in truth. Oh, hallelujah. So, so when we, we worship the Lord, when we minister to the Lord, we give him praise. Oh, God, we glorify you and we magnify you and we lift you up. You're so worthy of the praise. We're singing like the angels. Holy, holy, holy is the Lamb of God. We give you glory, God. We give you praise, God. You're so worthy. Thank you, God, that, that you did what you did. And thank you, most of all, for being who you are. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. That's giving God worship. That's giving God praise. And while they were doing that, they were also fasting, which means that they 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 were they removed themselves from from food for for for, for to, because they wanted to concentrate not on what their body needed, but what their spirit desired to do. Oh, hallelujah! Oh, can you imagine being there with them? Praising God, worshiping and fasting. Oh, hallelujah. Could you imagine being there and seeing how the Holy Spirit just fell on the place in such a marvelous and mighty way? And it says, the Holy Spirit said to them, I need you to appoint Barnabas and Saul for the special work to which I have called them. They got a call. So, so first, out of the church of Antioch, the Holy Spirit is now sending someone out and calling them to a special missionary journey. See, prior to this, the, the, word, the way the word spread it prior to this was there were oppositions uh, against the people of the way in Jerusalem. And so because of that opposition, the people had to disperse out. And they were, they, they, they were forced out of the area of Jerusalem. But now this word is spread around. And they are now at, at a church at Antioch. Not a synagogue, but a church. Where there's a body of believers that have prophets Pastors and teachers all in the same house. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I praise God for that, 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 that we in the church today can still come together. 
like, like this church did where we got prophets, teachers, and pastors all in the house together. Too many times people in the church today, we allow teachers and we will have a pastor, but we don't want no prophet in the house and we sure don't want another pastor in the house. I got to be the big dog. Yeah. But this, 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 when, when people come together like this, this, this what makes the body of Christ strong. And when they pray together and they fast together, then the word of God can be heard and understood and discerned. And they'll hear a word. They'll hear the calling of God and they'll send out the people that God is saying to send out. So they sent out God, the Holy Spirit that sent Barnabas and Saul. And I always like this because it says Barnabas and Saul. It doesn't say Saul and Barnabas. It doesn't say Paul and Barnabas. It says Barnabas and Saul. The name first was Barnabas. He was the encourager. He was the elder. Oh, hallelujah. So this calling by the Holy Spirit was not a calling to accept your, your call as a minister. Because we, we never didn't know that Barnabas was a minister. We, we know that Saul was called to preach. One of us was a lay person for the most part. But he was called and sent by the Holy Spirit. Where is the Holy Spirit sending you? Are you calling and listening to hear a word from God to tell you what you're supposed to do and where you're supposed to go? Oh, hallelujah. I know I probably spent too much time talking about this calling, but I have to talk about it because this is so important about this lesson. We, we got to get to the point where we, we know where, where the good teaching of God's word is going on. And we're part of that gathering and we learn how to pray and fast together. And then hear from the Holy Spirit to be led in God to do what we ought to be doing for him. Let's go on and look at the next part of our text. Not only were they called by the Holy Spirit, they were sent by the Holy Spirit. Listen to verses 4 through, uh, let's see, 4 through 8. So Barnabas and Saul were sent out by the Holy Spirit, and they went down to the seaport called Silencia. And then sailed for the islands of Cyprus. There in the town of Salamis, they, they went to the Jewish synagogue and preached the word of God. John Mark went with them as their assistants. Afterwards, they traveled from, down, from, from town to town across the entire island until they finally reached Paphos where they met a Jewish sorcerer, a false prophet named Bar-Jesus. He had attached himself to the governor or the proconsul of that area, uh, 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 Sergius Paulus, who was an intelligent man. The governor or the proconsul invited Paul, Barnabas and Paul to visit. Or Barnabas and Saul to visit, for he wanted to hear the word of God. But 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 Elamus, the sorcerer, as his name means in Greek, interfered and urged the, the, the proconsul of the governor to pay no attention to what Barnabas and Saul said. He was trying to keep the governor or the proconsul from believing. Oh, hallelujah. They were sent. And they traveled to the port of Antioch, which is, 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 is uh, 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 
the, the, the uh, Cilicia. And then they went to the island called Cyprus. And they went there to the town of Salamis. And, and they went to the Jewish synagogue first. Because there was always going to be an open door for them to preach at the Jewish synagogue. And then after they, they, they left the Jewish synagogue and preaching God's word, they went from town to town. Now they say this is where where, where John Mark they, they was there the, the, uh, to assist them. You know, John Mark, Mary, Mary's son, Mary Mark's son, or Mary, yeah, Mary, Mary Mark's son. This is John Mark. And this is the writer of the gospel of Mark. This is not John the Apostle. This is John Mark. And, and, and he and he was there assisting with them. Later on, there's going to be a disturbance with him being there because he, he got afraid. He got scared. But even though he got scared about going out into his calling, he was later restored. Oh, hallelujah. That, 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 that Peter took him on later and taught him and Paul took him back later and taught him about what he needs to learn. And he wrote the book of Mark. Amen. And so here we have now. They're in this city. They're going from town to town and they come across a Jewish sorcerer whose name is Bar Jesus, meaning anti-Jesus, against Jesus, not Jesus, Bar Jesus. Oh! And he was a sorcerer. He was a, a magician, a magician, if you will, a magician. And he did little magic tricks. But, but, but here he was, he was an evil man. And he had somehow attached himself to the leader of that area. Oh, have mercy. We have so many devils attaching us to themselves, excuse me. So many devils attaching themselves to the leaders. That's why, that's why Paul later said, we fight not against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers and rulers in high places. And these, and Paul could say that because he had experienced this firsthand. This man was like a was like a a, 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 a leech. And he was trying to stop. He was trying to stop this pro council, this governor, from, from, from hearing the word of God because he didn't want him to believe. Oh, mercy. But not only were these guys called and sent, they were called by the Holy Spirit to have someone saved. Called and sent that others might be saved by the Holy Spirit. So, so we're going to jump down to our last part, saved by the Holy Spirit, verses 9 through 12. Saul, who also, uh, as Paul, was filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Paul was filled. He, he, he was called, he was sent, and he was filled. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say that again. Called and sent and filled. Called, sent, and filled. Filled with the Holy Spirit. And when he was filled with the Holy Spirit, he looked at that sorcerer in the eye. Then he said, you son of the devil, full of every sort of deceit and fraud, enemy of all that is good, will you never stop perverting the true way of the Lord? Watch now. For the Lord has, for the Lord has laid his hands of punishment upon you and you will be struck down. You will not see the sunlight for some time. And then it says instantly, immediately, suddenly. A mist and a darkness came over the man's eyes and he began groping 
around begging for someone to take his hand and lead him. And when the pro council, when the governor saw what had happened, he became a believer for he was astonished at the teaching about the Lord. He, he got saved, y'all. When the Lord gives you opposition to try to stop you from preaching God's word, from teaching God's word, you have to stand your ground. God will fill you with his Holy Spirit to give you the power and empowerment to speak his word. And you speak his word. And when you speak his word, God will make give you signs and wonders. He will do miraculous things by the power of you speaking the word of God over any situation, over any circumstance, calling those things that are not as though they are, speaking in faith. This sorcerer, bar Jesus, was trying to stop this pro counselor from receiving Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. He was trying to stop it. And Paul spoke a word and told him just who you are. You, you're the son of the devil. You no good and you're low down and you're always going to be that way. And, 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 you, and the Lord has said, his hand of punishment is against you. And immediately that man became blind and was asking people to lead them around, lead him around. Mm -mm -mm. And when that governor heard it, oh, hallelujah. When he heard it, the word, and when he saw the signs and the wonders, he was astonished of the teaching and then believed. He got saved, y'all. And when the leader gets saved, the whole country gets saved. Oh, hallelujah. The whole area gets saved. That's why we are told to pray for our leaders. Our leaders need much prayer today. I, I, you understand what I'm saying? Our leaders need much prayer today. And we need to lift him up. And we need to call on the name of Jesus for our leaders. Because our leaders need to be saved. And all of those bar Jesuses that have attached themselves to them, that are trying to keep them from hearing the word of God and believing, need to be told that they're sons of the devil. Yes, they are. Hallelujah. Well, as we end this lesson today, we want to give you a few pointers to ponder. Praying and fasting, number one, focuses on us discerning God's will and can allow the Holy Spirit to empower us to speak his word boldly. We need to pray and we need to fast. Because some things only come out by prayer and fasting. Number two, being obedient to the, to the Holy Spirit allows others to be blessed as well. Your obedience, your obedience, my obedience has an effect on others. Number three, resisting resistance to the gospel often arise from an attempt to hold on to power. People will resist God and the Holy Spirit because they want to keep their little sphere of power. But number four, the enemy doesn't stand a chance against the power of God. They used to say, it, your arm's too short to box with God. And then number five, there's no distance too far for God to save 
one soul. God will do everything in his power to get one soul saved. And we who are called by his name should be those instruments that reach out if just one soul gets saved. Because that one soul may save another and another may save 10 and then those 10 may save 100 and those 100 may save get 10,000 people saved so don't miss you your blessing I, 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 as I think about this and I know I should be closing but I got I thought about this on last Sunday I went to the jail and and as we were coming out this young man who never was in jail he he was he, he never was in jail is a minister now, and I've known him for 20 years. And I can reminisce 20 years ago when God sent me to minister to this young man. And we would get together and we would pray every Monday and we would get together and pray and fast and, and study God's word. And God blessed this man to later become a preacher. And now that same preacher 20 years later, is doing the same ministry that I was even doing back then 20 years ago. He's coming to the jail. I said, oh, God, you something else. You something else, God. And I said, go ahead on, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. So it's a blessing. You never know when you take time to pray and fast and pray for somebody and then teach somebody the word what they will become. Have you found somebody in your life that you want to invest in? Not, not, you know, I mean, it may be a stranger that becomes a relationship, but it may be somebody in your family. It may be your, some one of your friends or associates that you need to get together and have one-on-one -on -one with. Not to just invite them to church. That's corporate. But sometimes you need to do a one-on-one -on -one with people. Minister to them. And if you think about it, Somebody did that for you. Oh, hallelujah. Let us go to the Lord in prayer to close this lesson. Dear Heavenly Father, we trust that you will lead us and guide us to where you want us to go and what you want us to do. We thank you for your Holy Spirit who helps us, empowers us, and gives us the understanding that we need to do what you want us to do. In Jesus name. Amen. The thought to remember for this lesson. Success depends not on knowing. What comes next. In each chapter of our lives. But rather. In knowing. The author. And the finisher. Of our faith. Yes. Because he is the author of the story. Hallelujah. Before I close any message. On Facebook and on the conference call, I'd like to, to give those who are listening an opportunity to give your life to Christ. And so i like to just pray the prayer of salvation with you. It's based on the fact that you are to believe that with in your heart and speak with your mouth. Confess it that the Lord Jesus died for your sins and that God raised him from the dead. The reason that I do this is because I want you to really be able to answer this question. If I was to die tomorrow. If I was to die tonight, where would I spend eternity? And I want you to have a sure answer to that, that you will say, yes, I will spend eternity with my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes. So let us pray. Dear Father God, I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that Jesus died for my sins and that you raised him from the dead. I repent of my sins. Please forgive me and come into my heart. Forgive me of all of my sins. I invite you, Jesus, to become the Lord of my life, to rule and to reign in my heart from this day forward. Please send your Holy Spirit to help me obey you and to do your will the rest of my life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Facebook, be blessed. May God keep you. If you want to join us on the conference call or the, the, the radio, uh, God in the Midst radio, to have a little brief discussion about the lesson, 
The number to dial is 619-639-4733. 619-639-4733. We will, we will be here uh, on next week, and we'll be here again uh, uh, next week. And, and if you want to join us on the conference call, you can to, to talk about this. Uh, talk about this lesson. Please share this with your friends um, and, and let them know that this Sunday school lesson is going on. And then even for, for international people who don't have a telephone that they can call direct and listen into or don't have Facebook, you can always visit um, Blog Talk Radio at God slash God in the midst. All in one word. And you can listen to this recording or you can call in and listen in to the or you can, you know, log in and listen to the to the lesson. Be blessed and may God bless you and keep you and may God always watch over you.